Hello everyone, welcome to the five year anniversary video of this YouTube channel. I'm Andy Pollock, the creator of the Andy Drenum, this YouTube channel. Originally I was debating if I should just go around the corner and film with the brick wall uh, due to safety reasons and obviously with the stay at home still in effect here in the New York City region until May 28th, I have decided I'm going to film today in my front porch. If the stay at home was lifted, I would have went right around the corner to film this, which is not a big deal. But the state of New York, I don't want to get in trouble with them. So, you know, but hopefully I'll be back there in the future. I'd love to, you know, do personal takes at the brick wall. My, uh personal favorite spot to film here in Fresh Meadows. <laughs> but, um, yeah, guys, five years I've been on YouTube. That's, um, well, technically that other video in 2012 doesn't make it longer. But, yeah, five years. Can't believe how time flies. And originally, I know I'm filming on May 20th. I was actually supposed to be at Central Park today filming this video. Even though it was cold... It's a nice blue sky today. You know, I would be in Central Park filming this. But we don't have a nice background. We're stuck in my front porch. But, yeah. Uh, I just want to say thank you. And also, this is going to be in a thousand, a thousand sub appreciation video since I've never gotten to thank everybody to help me get to a thousand subs. In fact, um, we're right now at a thousand fifty something at the moment last I checked so that's a big deal and I'm very thankful for that and you know with the pandemic going on things have really changed but I've still adapted and still got content to you guys stuff that I still care about it's uh, been a very rough two months everything's been so difficult but I've um, I've gotten through a lot of adversity, a lot of trials and tribulations, staying at home, but uh, this is the first time, I think, since the weekend I got to be in front of my front porch, and I kind of do want to get inside because it is chilly out here, but a lot has happened to me past two months I'm not going to get into. Thankfully, I didn't get the virus, but um, I still feel bad for everybody who went through the trials and tribulations. I've known people who lost their battles, but uh, pretty much to the thousand subs, my point is I just want to say thank you. All right, thank you for supporting this channel. Means a lot to me. And uh, let's see what happens in the next year and hopefully we'll get the sub count going up once the uh, state of New York gives me permission to start going back to regular outdoor productions. I am uh, hoping within the next year we'll get back on track with that. And I am just grateful for everybody who gives me love and support. Very thankful for that. Five years, this channel started off as sports originally, then became transit-oriented. And Transit-oriented stuff really got me popular, so look where that got me. And now I'm just very grateful that I'm still here on YouTube, um, despite the fact that I have a copyright strike that's supposed to expire on July 5th, thanks to the uh, incident with the philanthropist in New Jersey. But thankfully that will be gone. I'll be off my record. And also, you know, I really hope that we can start to get things back to normal as soon as possible. I'm keeping a lot of faith that my region will lift the stay-at-home order within a week or maybe in June. And we'll see where things end up. I will wear a face mask because, again, um... I know this for a fact um, for New York, for, for, well, for anybody, because the CDC says as long as you're on your own property, you don't have to wear a face mask, which is good. But 
if I go to the brick wall, then I'd have to wear the face mask, which that presents another legal issue. I don't want to get in trouble with either the state of New York or the 107 police precinct. So that's why things are different, to say the least. But this channel is still going to be around, and I hope we make it to 10 years. To think that 2025 would make 10 years, but 2020 making five is just a big deal. So thank you very much, everyone. This isn't the way I imagined I'd film this video, but uh, just grateful to everybody who has been with me since day one. More content will be coming. Always have my word on that. In fact, I am um, going to go tape Andy plays the next couple days. I already have one video going up on May 23rd. This one's going up on May 25th to commemorate the five-year anniversary of the original Andrew Sports Fan Channel, but Andy's ran in this, of course. And one thing I didn't get to bring up briefly during the NFL craziness, um, I'm very happy that Rob Kronkowski is coming out of retirement. I never got to give my opinion on that, so I might as well do it now. He did it because he knew that Tom Brady wanted to move on. He wanted to move on. So it's best for both parties. In the end, Rob Kongowski gets to play with Tom Brady again in Tampa. I um, certainly do wish the best, the best for Tom Brady in Tampa. Because thankfully, he's not going to be in my conference anymore, thank God. But if he beats the Ravens in the Super Bowl, then we get a problem. <laughs> but in um, need of less, um, yeah, hopefully I'll get back to talking sports sooner or later once the leagues resume. Um, Governor Cuomo has been very vocal on sports coming back without spectators here in the city, so... Um, I hope the governor keeps to his word about that. Um, I hope that uh, this upcoming week, Adam Silver, the commissioner of the NBA, will make the announcement that hopefully the NBA will resume the regular season. Hopefully we'll have the playoffs in July. I'd love to see that happen. Hopefully the finals will get concluded in August or September. And... Uh, love to see the NBA come back. Hopefully the NHL can come back in July because there were talks that um, Canada has restricted um, travel, non-essential, until the middle of June. So that's a very complicated issue on hockey. Uh, baseball, I know this for a fact. The players have just got to stop arguing about money. Shame on Blake Snell. I'm very disgusted that all the play, all the players are just thinking about money right now where our country is just going through a very difficult time with this virus and we want to see the baseball come back. That's one of the sights of summer that we're always used to seeing is baseball. So the players have got to stop thinking about money. We don't need a repeat of 1994 where they went on strike because of money. Same in 1981 when they went on strike with money. We don't want to see that happen again. So the baseball players got to stop thinking about money. Think about what's good for this country right now. Hear the umpire say, play ball, and we get back on the dugouts, and we get back on the playing fields. And uh, just quickly about football, um, colleges are in a very tough spot right now. The, the NCAA is in a very tough spot where they don't know what's going to happen if schools will reopen their campuses because you have um, college football starting in late August. So the Pac-12 is the only conference that's only suggested that they may come back. But we haven't heard from the Atlantic Coastal Conference, the Big East, Big 12, the Atlantic Coastal Conference, the ACC, where my Maryland Terrapins play, which, uh, surprise, we got low line of Tug of Viola. That was shocking. We got a transfer, but... Uh, and as far as the NFL, um, I'm glad the training facilities have reopened. And I did bring up Tom Brady earlier. He did practice this week with Rob Kronkowski, so that's a very good sign. The training facilities are going to open. Let's hope that we can have a preseason in August. Let's hope that we can have a regular season in September, because believe it or not, I have uh, some sad news on my personal 
front. I'll quickly mention that um, one of my cousins, her name is Lizzie, was supposed to get married on Sunday, August 2nd. That got postponed to 2021, sadly. And we were going to welcome a new member of our family who lives in Florida. Her name is Julie. She's a baker. That's going to have to be put on hold for legal reasons at the moment. And um, what else? Right. The reason why I'm hoping September we get football back is because maybe the kids can go back to school. I have another family wedding that's supposed to happen September 12th. Um, my other cousin, Matthew, was supposed to get married. So I'm hoping that his wedding will still happen, which the day after is supposed to be the start of the NFL season on September 13th, where the Baltimore Ravens play the Cleveland Browns. So let's hope that happens. And my mom doesn't have to deal with this online learning for a long time. So, or ever, in that case. <laughs> so hopefully when sports comes back, I'll try to do more videos give my opinion on how the restart will look for hockey, basketball, and baseball, and then we'll worry about football when the time comes, hopefully. And hopefully in September, like I normally do, I'll be making my predictions for the 2020 season. So let's hope that still happens, which that's why I couldn't do a baseball prediction because baseball shut down May March 12th, so there was really no need to make a video. So, yeah. And as far as college basketball, I'll just say this. It's too early to even talk about that right now. But there'll be more sports talk in the future when the leagues do get their act together. And I can talk to you more about it. So, that's going to wrap things up. Um, also, one quick thing. I didn't mention this about the Jets. I'm shocked they got Frank Gore. So now you're going to have Le'Veon Bell and Frank Gore as your tailbox, and then you still have Powell, which I don't know that situation. Unless Powell went somewhere else. Maybe I'm behind on that, but that was shocking. The Jets got another running back. <laughs> all right, so that wraps it up. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. So... Thank you very much once again for helping me get to 1,000 subs. It means the world to me. More content to come here on this channel. Let's keep it going, and hopefully next year we'll have a six-year anniversary video under better circumstances. So until the next one, please take care.